In today's video, I'm going to be comparing and contrasting some of the best items and armor with some other ones to tell you which ones are the best, especially in recent light of the new update. If you guys enjoyed today's video, subscribe, like, and comment anything else you want me to compare, and I'll do it in a future video. Let's get into it. I'm going to be brief here. Basically speaking, there was an update that dropped recently. It was the Hypixel Skyblock Levels update. That's where the numbers on the side are. It also nerfed a lot of things. Juju now is harder to get. Viral Truth is now harder to get. Liver Dagger now has less attack speed. In addition to all those nerfs, Shadow Fury's damage got buffed, and the mana cost in the spirit sector got reduced from 250 to 200. So now that that's out of the way, let's do some base damage comparisons. First off, what are we going to be comparing? This video will be broken up into three parts for now. Part 1, we're going to be comparing the Spirit Bow to Bone Rings to tell you which one you should use instead of Juju. Then we're going to be comparing Liver Dagger to Flower of Truth. Sword of Bad Health, because that's also a good sword, to tell you what you should use after the nerfs or adjustments of these two weapons. Then we're going to be comparing Pets to tell you what is the best pet for each different situation. We're going to be comparing Lion Pet, Wither Skeleton Pet, Tiger Pet, and Ender Dragon Pet. To tell you what is worth the most for your money. Now keep in mind, these are all, in my opinion, all of them have different strengths in different situations. In addition to that, I'm going to be doing armor and other stuff later, so if you want anything else for me to compare, please tell me and I'll do it. So first, let's start off with the Spirit Bow versus Boomerang. Alright, so now we're to the test between the Spirit Bow and the Boomerang. Now, I'm going to be comparing these. This is kind of in a hot debate right now. Because Juju, a lot of people can't use it, so these are the two options people are looking to. But we're going to be comparing to see which one does more damage per hit, which one does more DPS, and overall, which one I recommend you use. So first, let's start off by comparing. These both have Precise with Hot Potato Books with all the exact same reforges and enchants. These are not different in any way, shape, or form. You can read through them if you really want to. Now before we get into the damage test part of Spirit Bow and Boomerang, first let's compare the cost. First off, the cost of Boomerangs. Boomerangs are going to be costing around 8-9 to nine million coins per, 5 starred with Hot Potato Books, and some of them have Soul Eater stuff on it, depends on what you're getting. Next up, we have Spirit Bow. Spirit Bow is going to cost you 10 million coins base, or if you're looking for the cheapest one that's like 5 star and actually decent, it's going to look at around 13 to 14 million coins. Now, I do recommend using, if you do go down the Boomerang route, for 3 Boomerangs at least, because otherwise it's just not terribly efficient. So Boomerangs, if you're going down that setup, will cost you around 26 million coins, while Spirit Bow will cost you around 16 mil for a good one. Now, let's get into the damage test. Now for the gear, I'm going to be using Crimson Armor with a Lion Pet. Is this the best setup? Probably not, but you can deal with what I'm going to be using. Spirit Bow, we are doing 116,000 damage, looks like. Yeah, anywhere from 100 and, yeah, 116,000 damage is consistent. We're doing 116,000 damage every single time you shoot this Spirit Bow, which honestly isn't too bad. Now, let's go for the Boomerang. The Boomerang, of course, has a front and back hit. So, front hit is going to be doing 140k, back hit is going to be doing 300,000 damage. So even with a front hit, Boomerang is doing more damage than the Spirit Bow. And odds are, if it's against like a boss or something, you're going to get both front hit and back hit, which will end up at around 440,000 damage every single click of your Boomerang. But on average, you're not going to hit the front shot or the back shot both times, so we're going to add up those numbers and divide it in half to get you the average damage the Boomerang is going to be doing. The average damage of the Boomerang is going to be around 200,000 damage, give or take a little bit, which, which is quite a lot more than the Spirit Bow. However, we're obviously lacking the fact that the Spirit Bow can attack faster. So we're going to be doing this against a boss to see which one can kill it in a quicker time. For this boss test, I'm going to be using two other Boomerangs, as that's what most people who use Boomerangs do. They use multiple ones, so they don't have to wait on the cooldown. Now, for lack of better things to test on, we're going to test some of the Nether bosses. Reason being is Slayer bosses don't take bow damage, and the Dumbers in your island, I don't know when they did this, they don't take damage either, so that's kind of annoying. So we're going to be comparing ourselves against a Mage Outlaw. It's kind of hard to predict what they're going to do, but we're just going to see which one takes longer and if they did the round the same phases and how much damage we can do in the first phase of each. So let's drop down and let's begin. Alright, so from the first stage, we did 5 million damage using ourselves bone ranks. Now we're going to use ourselves a spirit bow. Your defense says Tiger does have quite Tiger's shape plus e, so we are maxing out the attack damage to make the spirit bow go as fast as possible. You can see it's shooting once every 0 0.5 seconds. So let's go in and see what happens. Now, of course, it wasn't the best test, but we obviously did not do nearly as much damage with the Spirit Bow as we did with the Mage Outlaw. However, something does need to be said in the sense that Spirit Bow is a lot easier to use for clearing than Boomerangs are. If you've ever tried clearing with Boomerangs, it is a lot harder to do than to do it with a Short Bow. 
So, Spirit Bow is better for clearing dungeons, however, Boomerangs absolutely clap Spirit when it comes to actual damage. Use what you want, but personally, I like Boomerangs a little bit better because they can pack more of a punch. And although it's a little bit hard to use in the beginning, I feel like it's more worth it overall. But I'll leave that up to you to decide. Now, let's go on to the next one. Alright, so now for the pets. We're going to be comparing Lion to Wither Skeleton to Tiger to an Ender Dragon pet, which I need to buy. First, let's go over what all these pets are. All these pets are going to be around level 90, 95 to 100, 97, 94, 100. Deal with it. They're not exactly perfect. It's fine, alright? Now, for the Tiger pet, it's not legendary because that's not really going to affect the damage test. But on every single one of these, we have a spooky cupcake to keep the tests even. Now, of course, now we need to get ourselves an Ender Dragon. I'm actually buying this for a video. Why am I doing this? I don't know. You deserve to subscribe. However, before we do that, you should do what these wonderful cake souls say and sub to Probark. That's always a good idea. Sub to Probark? Hey, can't go wrong. Colors are telling you to do it. What are you going to do? Ignore the colors? I don't know how that could be any less... I don't know how that could be any more clear. Either way, now I need to buy ourselves an Ender Dragon pet. I'm going to look for a level 100 one. This one looks pretty good. Level 100. Nope. Oh, well, it's got pet candies. Level 100. I'm going to buy it. And then we'll do a damage test, test with this. So, you, be you guys better subscribe. I'm spending a lot of money on this video. And before we can get into the actual damage test, first we have to do a cost comparison just to give a base test. So, first, let's start off with Lion. We're going to go base and legendary. Base legendary is going to cost you 17 million coins, and level 100 is going to look around... Let's see, around 40 million coins-ish. 42 million coins. Somewhere in that range. So, base cost will cost you 17 mil. Next up, we have Wither Skeleton. Base cost for this one's going to cost you 2.4 million coins, and the level 100 is going to come in at... Looks to be around 7.7 7 million, 7 .7 million coins. So, honestly, pretty cheap. Next up, we have Tiger. I'm using an epic one. You can use both. If you're getting a legendary, uh, base is going to be 18. If you're getting an epic, base is going to be 2 mil. So, take whichever one you want to do. But Tiger Pet Legendary version is better because of its Apex Predator ability. Next up, we've got the famous Ender Dragon. I'm not going to go over... You already know it's expensive, right? A tier boosted one is going to cost you around 350 million coins. If we're looking for the cheapest non-tier boosted one, it's going to come out around 570 million coins. So, pretty damn expensive, I'm not going to lie to you. Now, let's get to the actual damage test. Okay, so I just spent all my money, so you can deal now. Um, but the weapon I'm going to be using, a Sword of Bad Health... It's a pretty good sort of bad health, but it's still sort of bad health. The reason I'm using this is because I'm fucking broke. But first, let's start off with the Wither Skeleton. Now, of course, these are not all the same level. Deal. But Wither Skeleton, with the ability used, we are doing 114,000 damage every single connection. So 114,000 damage for the Wither Skeleton pet. Next up, we've got ourselves the Tiger pet is doing 108,000 damage. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't use the ability there. Tiger Pet is doing 117,000 damage, so almost the exact same as the Wither Skeleton Pet. And it also has the added bonus that, you know, you have more ferocity, and it can thus attack faster, and it's overall just good. But it still has the best damage. Now let's go on to Lion Pet. Lion Pet's kind of a tough situation. But first off, we're going to use this ability. First hit, we're doing 180,000 damage, as we can see. Editor Probark here. Uh, the numbers are going to be disappearing for a little bit, just so you can see the damage. I'll put them back up at the very end. Just want to explain why they're not there anymore. So the dummy right here, if you use the ability, first hit is doing 190,000 damage. After that, though, it's doing 108,000 damage. Which, to be fair, is still the same damage as the other pets are doing. So that's also pretty good. Now for the fabled Ender Dragon. Now on first use, we're doing, uh, what is this, 122,000 damage. And we are consistently doing 122,000 damage. Now on screen, you can see the stats of how much damage each pet was doing. It's obvious which ones are better than the others. Alright, so here's my opinion. Here's just the facts. Ender Dragon does more damage consistently than any other pet that we've tested. Lion does more damage first hit, but after the first hit, does less damage. Ender Dragon also gives you more health than every other pet. So, shocker shocker, Ender Dragon's the best. However, it's so much more expensive that I don't find it's worth it for the majority of the population. With Lion Pet and Tiger Pet, you can pretty much... Just do everything you need to do and do it better than you can with the Ender Dragon pet. And here's what I mean. 
Lion Pet is best at first hit damage. It's great if it's not a boss and something that you think you can probably one-shot. For example, you're clearing dungeons. You're going to be able to one-shot most of the mobs. Tiger Pet is then good for the bosses for two reasons. A, if it's legendary, its last ability means you do double damage if it's an actual boss. And because it gives you more ferocity. So with both Tiger and Lion Pet, you can literally achieve everything you need to do and don't need to bother buying an Ender Dragon Pet. With the Skeleton Pet has uses in some specific circumstances, but generally speaking, I don't think with the Skeleton Pet is on the same scale or as all the other pets. It's just not. It's a decent pet overall, but it does less damage than all of them and doesn't have as much good stats going for it. So if I had to pick the order of pets it would go, it would go right when you buy Lion Pet first, being the best, then followed by Tiger, followed by Ender Dragon, followed by Wither Skeleton. Wither Skeleton isn't better at anything, Ender Dragon is just way too expensive. Either way, let's move on to the next thing. Alright, so now we're going to be comparing Liver Dagger to Flower Truth to another personal favorite of mine, the Sword of Bad Health. First, Liver Dagger. Liver Dagger got nerfed from 100 attack speed to 50% attack speed. Flower of Truth got nerfed in the same way Juju did, in the sense you need, I believe, Floor 5 or Floor 6 completion or to run use. And Sword of Bad Health is just a really good sword. So first, let us go over cost. I'm going to be doing base cost because it's easy. So the base cost of your Liver Dagger is sitting at 9 million coins. Base cost of Flower of Truth is 2 million coins, which is a lot lower than what it should be. And the Sword of Bad Health. Now, the Sword of Bad Health can only be found on, like, actual AH you have to bid it. But on average, I find it goes for around 10 to 300,000 coins per for a base sword. So these really aren't that expensive to get. However, if you want to max out, it requires more because you need to put, like, a wood singularity on it and yada yada yada. Basically, you can buy pretty maxed out ones on the age for like 2 to 3 million coins, and it only costs you like 6 mil to get it pretty maxed out. Obviously, don't use this in dungeons, it's not that good. First, let's do a damage test of base ones, ignoring all of its abilities, then we'll account for its abilities. Liver Dagger on a base zombie front hit, by the way, I'm using Lion. Liver Dagger front hit is going to be whopping us out, god stop moving, 148,000 damage. Yep, looks like we're hitting 148,000 damage. Pretty consistently, which is very, very good. Now let's try back hit. Back hit should be like 280, 290, believe something like that. Yep, back hit's 300,000 damage. Next up, we have Flower of Truth. Flower of Truth base hit is doing 132,000 damage, which isn't too bad. My thing just procced, but 132,000 damage is not bad. But with this thing, it's honestly not, it's pretty good. As you can see, first hit. It just it gets increasingly better. So it does 90k, then I believe like 180k, then like 240k. Next we have Sword of Bad Health. Sword of Bad Health is hitting for a base of 168 damage. So off rip, it is hitting for more damage than both Liver Dagger and Flower of Truth. And that's without its ability. Now let's account for its abilities. Liver Dagger, I'm just going to be including its back hit. This is super good against bosses, especially with its attack speed. So using this for bosses is going to be better than using Flower of Truth or Sword of Bad Health, depends on the situation. Flower of Truth is obviously a lot better for clearing as it has increased damage. It's a lot better for clearing than either of these other two weapons. That's where its strengths lie. And Sword of Bad Health is generically just a good sword. It gives you 100 strength when using it. So I'm hitting for 180,000 damage. Which is honestly a lot of damage considering this is a wooden sword that costs you 10,000 coins base. So, here's my opinion. If you're just doing something outside of dungeons, honestly Sword of Bad Health isn't too bad. It's really cheap to get, and just has a nice ability. It's good to have anyways. If you're looking to clear mobs and out of dungeons, Flower of Truth is by far better than like Liver Dagger. Zero questions about that. If you're looking for a boss, then I recommend going with Liver Dagger. If you have to go for one overall, Flower of Truth is the best weapon you can get, because it is so, so cheap right now. Granted, this is all up to your own personal opinions and what you like using. But, that's my, that is my opinion. Alright, so you just saw the comparisons for every single thing. Here's just a little quick recap. Boomerangs, in my opinion, are better, but they are harder to use and take up more space. The best pet is going to be, depends on the situation, Lion Pet for just clearing, and for bosses, I recommend going Tiger. And Dragon Pet is just so overpriced and it's not that spectacular, although it does give you more health. For actual swords, they're all honestly really good. Liver Dagger is best for bosses, Flower Truth is best for clearing, but I knew this. And Sword of Bad Health is just a really good weapon overall. But if I had to pick one for you to go for, I'd recommend going for Flower of Truth because it is so much cheaper and it is more versatile. So those are my verdicts. Uh, if you don't agree with them, well, that's fine. You don't need to agree with them. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment anything else you'd like me to compare, and I'll do it. See you guys next one. Peace out.